Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this render in Blender. So let's get started. First hit Shift A and add a plane. Go to Geometry Nodes and click on New. Delete the Group Input and add a Volume Cube node. Alt Shift click on it. Add a Value node. Put that here and plug the value into the resolution. Set the value to 32 for now. I'm going to increase the value later because if I do it now it will slow everything down. Add a Volume to Mesh node. And let's also add a set material node and put that here. Go to the material properties and create two new materials and select the one here. Add a joint geometry node and let's also add a set shade smooth node and let's put that here. Select these three nodes and press Ctrl Shift D to duplicate them and keep this connection. Here let's select the second material and plug the geometry into the geometry. Add a gradient texture. Let's plug the color into the density. Let's also plug it into this density and set it to spherical. As you can see, it's not being displayed as a sphere. This seems to be a bug in Blender. To fix this, delete the joint geometry node and add it again. And this should fix it. As you can see, now it's working. Let's grab the gradient texture and put it here. Add a mask wave texture. Set it to 40. Set the W to 2.5 and the detail to 15. Let's put this here and duplicate it. Plug the height into the scale, add a mix node and let's set it to color. Plug this height into the factor and this one into A. Now plug the result into the density, add a wave texture and let's put that here. Set the scale to 2.5 and plug the color into B. By the way, here let's set the W to 1. Here instead of the vector we need to use the scale and let's set the distortion here to 10. Duplicate the mask wave texture. Put it here and here let's plug this into the detail and the result into the vector. Set the W to something you like. I'm going to set it to 1.15. Now let's save. I recommend that you set this value as high as possible. I'm going to set it to 250. But be careful with that because it can be very heavy on your computer. Go to the shading tab and make sure you have the first material selected. Go into rendered view and make sure you are using cycles. Go to the render properties, go to film and make it transparent. And let's go to color management. Set the fusions from to filmic and the look to very high contrast. You can of course leave these at the default settings, I just think it looks better this way. In the board properties I'm going to use this HDRI here, you can find a link to that in the description. Delete the principal BSDF and add a mix shader. Control shift click on it, add an emission node and plug it into the bottom socket here. I'm going to make it a light blue and set the strength to 10. Add a glass BSDF and plug it into the top socket here. I'm going to give this a light blue. Add a noise texture, put that here and plug the factor into the factor here. Set the scale to 100 and the detail to 15. Add a color ramp and let's put the black to 0.65. Duplicate the noise texture and set the scale to 250. Now take the factor and plug it into the normal. Add a bump node and duplicate it. Put this one here. For this one, let's set the strength to 0 0.0001. Let's use the height instead of the normal. Add a mix node, set it to color and put that here. Now let's take this normal here and plug it into A and this one into B. Add a color ramp and plug the color into the height here and into the roughness of the glass BSDF. Bring the black into 0.76. Add a wave texture and let's plug the color into the factor. Here let's set it to rings, here to spherical and here to saw. Set the scale to 2.5 and the distortion to 17.9. Add a mask wave texture and let's set the detail to 15 and plug the height into the vector. Let's save again and go to the second material. I'm going to make this a gray color. Set the metallic to 1. Add a mix node. Set it to color. Plug the result into the roughness into the emission color and into the normal. Add a noise texture. Let's plug the factor into A, duplicate it, and for this one, let's plug it into B. Here set the scale to 750, the detail to 15, and here let's set it to 25 and the detail to 15. Add a color ramp, 
put that here and duplicate it and put it here. For this one set the black to 0.55 and the white to 0.76. Here set the black to 0.33 and let's make the white orange like this. Add a bump node and let's set the strength to 0.05. Also let's set the emission strength to 10. I decided to go back into generator nodes and set the W here to 1. Let's go back to layout mode. Hit shift A and add a camera. Control or 0 to get into camera view. And now press G, set, set to move it on the local set axis. In the render properties, I'm going to set the max samples to 384. Now let's add an empty plane axis. Go to snapping and enable it and set it to face project. Press G and position the empty here. I'm going to turn this off again and set it back to increment. Go up here and enable depth of field. Select the camera and enable depth of field. Now select the empty. I'm going to set the f-stop to 1.5. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to set the focal length to 150 and press G and set twice again and move the camera back. Go into rendered view, hit shift A and add a point light. I'm going to set the radius to 0.6 and the power to 50. Go back into viewport shading, go to compositing, enable use nodes and also enable denoising data. Add a denoise node set to accurate and connect it like this. Add a glare node, set it to fog glow and set it to high. Go to the output properties, select the file format that you want. I'm going to use JPEG and set the quality to 100%. Now let's save again and press F12. If you liked this tutorial, then you're probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.